Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am C Tech Dude. Today we're going to be looking at the XPods Pro from Nastech. These headphones were sent to me courtesy of Nastech, but all thoughts are my own, and I will provide you with my honest take on them. According to the box, they have some really neat features on them, including wireless charging and 5 hour battery life per charge. Plus, you can charge from the included case, which can give you up to 20 more hours of battery life. Let's get started with the unboxing of these Nastech XPods Pro. They actually sent me the white and black ones, so I'll be unblock unboxing, unboxing the white ones. And there they are. So you get the case that can be charged wirelessly or wiredly. You get the white headphones. There we go. Actually like the way those look and they feel kind of matte plasticky. I like I like the way they feel as well. You get the instructions and a mystery bag. Just kidding. It's not really mystery. I think that's in here you get the charging cable, which is USB-C, which is always a plus. I'm a big USB-C guy. And you get a little baggie full of earbud tips. I like earbud tips. Do you like earbud tips? So cool. So to change earbuds, you just, or earbud tips, you just pull them off like this. Find the matching set that you want to use. Uh, I think I'm going to use the medium set, which are these. So just stick it on there like this. Yeah, there we go. You may like the white ones better. I don't know if the gray really go with the white earbuds. They probably do go to the black ones, but you know what, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna put the gray and red ones on because, I mean, once they're in your ear, you're not gonna be able to see them anyways. So what's the big deal? All right, so got those swapped out. Gonna put the headphones in the little box. When the headphones are charging, they turn red when you have the box open like that. So that's pretty cool. They have indicator lights on them. And then you can also see them charging with a little white indicator light on the bottom of the charging case. And let me get these ear tips out of the way. Do, 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 do. You can wirelessly, wirelessly charge. Here's my handy dandy wireless charger. Throw it on here. Wait for the magic to happen. So when the case is charging, it, it blinks green, which is nice. Yeah, that's pretty sweet that you can just throw the case on a wireless charger and you're off to the charging races. That didn't make any sense. Or you can plug in the USB-C cable like this and plug it into your computer or whatever wall adapter you have, whatever you want to charge it with. But nice to have options to charge. I'm always a fan of that. The battery life on these headphones is about five hours per charge. And the case gives you an extra 20 hours of charge so it can recharge these headphones to full four times before you need to recharge the case. So that's not pretty nice. So you should have plenty of battery life to make it through the day. And you may not have to charge them for several days, just depending on your usage. So let's get started with the pairing process and see how that goes. Got my iPhone here, but I will try it on my Android phone later. So we can see both processes. So open it up, take out the headphones, and it should pop up as a device. All right, there we go. Nastech XPods Pro. Hit the button. Wait for it to do its magic. Boom. Connected. Also want to show you guys how to unpair the device or pair it with a new device. So there's no way to do it physically on the case itself. So you have to actually go into the device that you have it paired with and unpair it there. Or if the device is no longer in range and you take them out of the case, it should go into discovery mode. So there we go. This hasn't been paired with this phone before. It was paired with my iPhone. So now it's pairing there because my iPhone's not in range. And there we go. Now it's paired to my Android phone. Simple as that. Now if I want to if I want to pair it with something that's already turned on and near me, I just go in here and forget the device. 
and then I could pair it with a new device. So simple as that. Now, as far as fit for these headphones, they fit really well in my ear after adjusting the earbud tips that are included, which is nice. So if they're a little loose in your ear, make sure you try to swap out the ear tips and you'll be good to go. The Xbox Pro do offer touch controls. So two taps on either earphone will play or pause the song. Three taps on the right will skip to the next song. Three taps on the left will go to the previous song. And if you hold down the button for a few seconds, it'll activate your assistant, either Google or Siri, which is a nice feature. Now, as far as sound quality goes, it's really nice. Bass has a nice punch to it. I'm not an audiophile by any means, but music sounds immersive to me and I'm very happy with the sound quality of these headphones. As far as call quality goes, I did make a few test calls. The person on the other end of the phone said I sound a little muffled, but they could hear me okay. Just something to keep in mind if you're gonna be using these for calls. But overall, I'm really impressed with these headphones, especially for the price. Right now they're on sale for $50. They normally retail for $70. But Nastech was nice enough to offer a discount code. So if you use code CETECHDUDE10 at checkout, you'll get 10% off. The link in the description with the code will be down there. Overall, if you're in the market for some nice headphones that offer a lot of bang for the buck, definitely consider checking out the Nastech X-Pods Pro. Thank you once again, Nastech, for sending these headphones to me to test. Always appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. As always, guys, I'm CU Tech Dude. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. You just got CU Tech. Talk to you later. Peace.